Henri? Oui, monsieur. On va ce matin? Oui, on va. Réjean. Léon. C'est le deuxième plus vieux. Il est à Edmonton maintenant, mon père. Mais t'as du coup ce qu'il est là, Oui, oui, oui. T'as raison. Les élans, c'est ça qu'on va concentrer dessus? Ah oui, c'est un que ça que j'ai dit, c'est donné. Ah, c'est un que ça que t'as. Ah, il faut te faire un peu par rien. Tu fais un peu d'agriculture aussi ou non? Ah oui, oui, oui. Surtout du foin? Non, non, c'est tout du grain, du blé, puis tout ça, là. OK. Et bois. All right. Here with Henri Aubin here. Yes, there'll probably be a lot of French talk, but I'll try to translate it at the bottom. Oh. Are you more comfortable in French or in English? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. One or the other. So I saw at, well, at least six white ones, eh? Okay, when well, that little white one there to the to the right, to the left there, she's bottle fit. But I'll show you that a little bit later. We'll go finish feeding and then I'll walk in here. Those are uh, calves from this year. Is that considered a white one? Oh, well, yeah. And how many times does the white cow have a white calf? One in 15, maybe. One in 15. Oh, boy. Very, very hard to get those white ones. I'm told that it's not albino, because if it was albino, they'd have white eyes as well, right? Yeah, well, that's what, that's what I heard. So they don't, they don't have white eyes. <laughs> Or blue eyes, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. So what got you into the elk business? Less work compared to cows. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Day and night. You take uh, six elk for sure per, per, for one cow. Like, tell me what? Tell me some details of that. Well, I they mean, they're, they're eating way less. Oh. They weigh more, do we? Yeah, I think elk cow weighs around six, 600 pounds. Compared to beef, you get, you get up to, what, 12, 1500 pounds. So that's uh, at least, uh, oh, yeah, at least. Six elk to one cow, at least. And how many uh, elk do you have? Right now, on 100, 180. 180. I, uh, I'm thinking next year I'll have I'll be about at the two, 250. Okay, just from uh, the calving. Yeah. Well, I'm going. Uh, I'm going up in the animals because I want to be able to ship uh, 40 a year in, in the states for hunting. Oh. So they release them for hunting in the States? Yep. Kill and butcher uh, much here then? No. no. Well, we, we got a co-op. Uh, no co-op that we ship elk if we want to ship some. But the both are more like, mostly for hunting. Ah, and mostly to the U.S.? Yep. Saskatchewan a little bit, not much. The U.S., they need way more. Last fall in the U.S., I think they killed 750 hunts. Wow. And what, what state? Uh, Utah and uh, Idaho. And it's sport hunting over there, like the uh, people pay to oh, yeah. the farm and... They, they pay, pay big dollars for that, those guys. Those guys, if the, the government would let us hunt, would make would double our money. But we're not allowed to hunt there. But that's okay. So. The wild elk, do they come around every once in a while to, to, to visit your elk, your domestic elk, can uh, I call them that? There's, there's a few around, not, not very much. I don't see them often. There's a few tracks around there, but that's it. I never see one. Never. I did I did see a few, but not not this year. The last two years, I didn't see none at all. Oh, ma'am, you see it? I've been uh, started in the elk in 1996. You started with the elks in 1996. Yeah, I think so. So 26 years now. Yeah. Wow. It's, uh, it's relaxing for me when I feed them. It's re relaxing. When you go in the out there, but blood, and it's way better than cattle to me. Do they come to you? Oh, oh, oh. They, they know you more than the strangers or not? No, uh, really? they don't come. Uh, if I feed them oats by pail, oh, they'll be 10 feet from me. But besides that, they stay away with them. And I'm going to ask you a question out of the blue. What's the difference between an elk and a caribou? Oh, caribou is way smaller, eh? I think. I'm not sure. I think it's half. Caribou is smaller. Is there wild caribou around Peace River here? No. no? Where do they live? Uh, further north. I don't know how far north they go there, but... 
Because I think it's lost in the Yukon. Eh? So is it like deer that uh, the, the male have the, the antlers and the female no? Yes, yes, yeah. But all in all, right now you have 180 elk and about, I'm looking, about 10 white ones. Yeah, 10, 15 maybe. Yeah, okay. So it's not there, it's either going to have a nice picture. That's all my two year old bull. He looks nice, eh? The hunters, they probably like the antlers, eh? Well, I had one last fire, uh, a guy sold this fall, he scored uh, 515 points. That's my um, biggest bull I ever had here. And what's that about? That must be a three, 330. Just a two, two year old. And I, I didn't see in the, not many have antlers in the ones you're sending to the States. No, 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 gonna cut them up. If, uh, if I set them uh, with antlers, they can only put one, five bulls per trailer, that's it. Oh. In a fight, they kill themselves. Eh? So you cut them off? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I cut the velvet off. Like I, uh, you cultivate the velvet? Oh, yeah. Yep. Is that a big business? So what you used to, but uh, no, it's not that. It's about the forty dollars a pound. When I first got in in '96, it was uh, one hundred and eight dollars a pound. Uh, oh, sorry. What do you say it is now? About forty. It's uh, an aphrodisiac, right? Oh well, yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. Koreans, they like it quite a bit, so I don't know. Koreans? Koreans. Yeah. Very nice dollar. Do you get more money for the white ones? Wow. No, not really. If I had big horns, yes, but I don't have big horns yet. I wish I was. I was. But I had one like this one here. Though. Do you send them with the horns sometimes? Oh yeah. yeah. But but it take, it costs more because you can't put as many. Well, um, no, they 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 that's their their problem. I had this one before. Wow, that's not the four hundred some point thing. Eh? That one here has 515. Wow. Alberta, you don't have any customers in Alberta? No, we can't hunt at all in Alberta. They don't let us hunt, hunt so far. Maybe one day, but... Like, you can't set up an area here where a customer can come in and kill it. That's illegal. Okay. What's that called? That would be poaching? That would be... Wow. What, what's the rule that prevents that? Well, we're just not allowed to hunt the mystic elk. I don't know. I think uh, I'm not sure what causes that. Is that the uh, green beef or or fish and wildlife? Too much of a. Uh, I, I okay. Can you send it to the butcher? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can. I can sell you one, but I'm gonna bring it to a slaughterhouse, get yeah. it butchered. Like Johnny's at yeah, yeah. Grimshaw. And... That's the only way I can do it. For myself, not a problem. I can kill as many as I need to eat. And how is uh, elk meat compared to beef? Well, compared to beef, it's, uh, well, it's more lean. And, I don't know, doesn't quite taste the same, but close. For the average person, elk is, uh, would be better than, than deer and, and moose. It don't taste the same at all. Not as wild. Oh, no, no, it doesn't taste wild at all. They play a lot. They oh. like to run. When I drove in, there was one that was just running yeah, back and forth. And changing their water does that quite a bit. Eh? They, they know more than us, so. They like the warmer weather too. Wow. I change in their water, it doesn't matter what, coal or snow, or whatever it is, or wind, they know. So these 11 are going south to uh, the US. They're, gonna, they're going to Idaho. And they're going to Idaho. Oh, these two, uh, they need, they're all male. All males. Do you ever send uh, cows down there? I did the white cows one year. They wanted the white cows. So you're going to keep one bull, or maybe two? Four. Four. I'll have about 110 cows to uh, put with the bull, so I need at least... Uh, and uh, if I had two older bulls, it would, have, it would be good, but they're a little bit too young, so I'll have to use four. Do they do artificial insemination for elk? Yeah, I, yeah. Might, I might do a 30 next fall. Okay. But you got to bring some uh, 
you blood in the system. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Can you buy uh, elk meat in the store? I think we can now because it's just starting slaughtering in Grand Prairie. You know. We started that about a month ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Brand new. Our, our meat, our meat co op there. I want to meet since it's uh, six cows there, but I didn't have any to sell. So you need to have cows to have bulls, so got to keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sell some down the line there. Then come a year or two, I'll have some cows to sell. How do they hunt them then? Not in the wild, on a farm? On a farm, yeah. They got a tall fence like that. They're running his fence and hunting ranch. Wow. That's not real hunting, is it? What do you think? To me, no, but they're in the bush and you don't see the fence. It's about the same thing as hunting. Yeah, I guess the so. Thing, the thing is, if you get them used to the trail, they're easy to attract. Eh? Yeah. You can put a, a, a hunter in a tree stand and just go uh, with the belt. Don't come right away. She, when I sold her, she was 19 years old, and she gave me a calf every year. 19 years old. 19 years and old. And that was one you raised. Yeah, all of it. And this one here, every they're all born in spring, right? Yeah, yeah. All born in the, uh, the starting the 20th of May till about the 15th of July. And they're all gestation like a cow, nine months or so. Eight months. Eight months, a little shorter. He's got his uh, Sunday hat on now. We're gonna go feed uh, a young one. Oh, feed goes. This oh, one was born in spring? Yeah, it was born, I think, the 28th of May. White one, and I wanted to ball pen, so I took, took it away from the mother. And a white, well, you like to do that with a white one? Wow, I, uh, I never had a white one before, so I wanted a white one. She's gonna stay here for a long time now. What do you mean you, you always wanted a, you never had a white one? A, a cow? A bottle fit. Okay, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. This is your first, oh yeah, the one you said you had for 19 years, that wasn't a white one. No, no, no. no. But it's the first bottle fed uh, white one. Yeah. I don't Do you have a name for her? Well, she's had a name, but I don't know what her, her name is. The kids, they give every, every one of them names. So. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Hey, baby. No, hey, baby. I'm not that strange. Come on. Come on, baby. He knows. He knows. Oh, there is two bulls there. See, the, the misses are always right, so I attack the, the female to the right and the male to the left. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs>